spring cleaning. Everybody's spring cleaning at the moment. Get some painting done. Got some painting done, some painting done, some cleaning up, and some jet washing, and some more painting, and some more jet washing to do. Caught me in between loads of stuff, actually. I've also got a visit to Pankoy to do on the grand opening of Pankoy with Anna Steves. I'm just going to pop in, have a wander around the shop, pop back out again, just go in and say hello. So this first weekend uh, was the weekend I'm filming this, which was the Easter bank holiday, but you're probably watching this a week later. Well, you might be watching it 12 months later. I don't know when you're watching this video. But anyway, so I popped in Steve's because he always reopens on the Easter weekend of each year, and that's his, like, season. So, um, yeah, in between stuff, I might just pop over there and just say hello uh, and give myself a break from painting and pressure washing and some more painting. Did I mention painting? Two big tubs to get through here. Put the wall outside and so we better get on with some painting. Oh, and I got some other stuff as well. There was once a day that I would pray for you I'd go and misbehave just so you'd notice too Sneaking looks up and down from across the room Damn, what a hell of a view I feel good you look great, I like you, I can't wait A first time, a first day Jobs are good and... Oh, sorry it's handy, is it? <laughs> anyway, yeah, job done there. That's quite good that is. Didn't you just, didn't you just look and you got a nicely fresh, clean... I've even, I've even, look at that. I've even done the patio, I did the patio yesterday. Loads of greeny algae stuff on it, so just give it a bit of a spray, got the... What's it on it? So it's all nice and painted and I've taken all the covers off today but I'll probably put them back on when the paint's dried because it's still quite cold at night times and it's... Mm. So uh, yeah, that's quite good that is. So hey, what's up? What? Got delivery? Ooh, what is it? Okay, I'm on my way. Got delivery, let's go find out. Big delivery. I don't remember ordering anything. So in a big box as well. Hmm, cool. Let's get it open and find out. Ugh. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. I think I know what this is. I got another bowl. Fantastic. It's got a note. It's got a note in. Ooh. Hope this parcel arrives in one piece. Been watching Koi Pond Lifestyle for a while now. Really enjoy your content. Thank you very much. Uh, I was given this a while back by an old Koi dealer, but he already. But well, I already have one. Uh, I thought it may come in handy for you. Wow. Uh, yes, it will. Thank you. Dan, you are the man. Dan the man. Brilliant. Brilliant, I've got another bowl. Never have too many bowls, can you? This is a proper one. This is your 60 quid. Eh? That's an 80, what's an 80 centimetre? No, it's got to be less than that, it? It even says, Koi measuring tank, 80 centimetres. I have never had a bowl that says Koi measuring on it. <laughs> Got two bowls now, fantastic. That means that if I get any new fish, which I might be getting, don't know, I can uh, <laughs> I can measure them in one and then PP them in another one before they go in the pond. One in splash. Fantastic, Dan, you are the man. Thank you ever so much. Look at, oh, look at that. It's a proper, a proper koi measuring bowl. So I've got one with a measuring strip in from the last video. Thank you again for that, Paul. Skeggy mate. Uh, and then this one. That's marvellous. Thank you. Bl bless you. Tom stuff. Thank you ever so much. That's ace. Right, I'm going to finish up here. Then we're going to take a spin round to Steve's for the grand opening. Da -da -da -da. Got the band. Big crowds. Anyway, let's go and find out. <laughs> Pankoi, let's go. Okay, so we're here today, Stoke on Trent, Pencoy. Uh, I'll leave the description of, of where the shop is, but Pencoy, been open for a while now. Steve, who has been managing Koi for, and has 30, 40 years of knowledge of Koi, uh, is here today for the grand opening of his shop. We've got the band here today at the moment. We've got all the crowds at the back here, but to steady everybody, not yet, not yet. We're gonna do the grand opening in a minute. 
So we're going to walk into the shop, have a look in the shop today. We're going to look at some of his fish. We're going to look at the dry goods, the wet goods, and all the foods, and go from there. So, band, away you go, crowds. Yes, here we go. Let's go. What Steve also supplies is his own food mix. So I've just asked him about doing a, a protein or a summer mix, but he's gonna leave that for a few more weeks yet because he puts these all together. He does like a winter wheat germ mix and then he'll do like a mix of the winter and summer so that the fish get prepared, ready for the next season. And then you're back again. So yeah, this, this food comes in, he'll do as much as you want to be honest, 10 pound bags, uh, 20 pound bags, you know, whatever, whatever you want, he can put together for you. So we're gonna come back and see how he mixes this stuff at the next video. Yeah, pretty good. Right, so there we go. Lovely little visit. I always love coming into Pencoy because there's always loads of nice people in here and there's loads of good stuff in here. So I'm going to make my way back to the pond now because I've got some other things to get on with. Uh, got a filter clean to do and so on and so forth. So yeah, if any of you are thinking of, of popping down to Pencoy, link is in the description below. Come on down, even if it's just for info, if you're looking to build your own pond, if you're looking at any, uh, any dry goods, foods, whatever you need for the pond, he will sort you out. So let's get back to the pond and get some stuff done. Right, so back from Steve's. That was an interesting trip. Got, got quite a few to fish in. Uh, I haven't chosen any yet. I'm, I'm still, you know, because I lost Goldie, lost my shower. So in my mind, I'm two fish down. I need to replace them, and that's my justification to the missus. <laughs> Gotta have justification, haven't you? If you notice as well, when, when you see people on YouTube buying fish, they never tell you how much they cost. <laughs> Everyone I've watched, they're all going out and going, yeah, I'm going to this place buying some fish. Oh, look at lovely colors and everything. They haven't told me how much it cost. Oh. Hmm, because <laughs> the wife watches the program. <laughs> anyway, so so I'm all I'm all painted up now. Got all the painting done on the side there. Sheds painted, fences are painted. Lawn is mown and fed. Have I been busy or what? Patio is now washed. Now covers are off. I tell you, I, I really don't want to be putting these covers back on. But it's still cold at night, and the temperature is like all over the place. I mean, I'm looking at the fish at the moment. The fish are quite. Looks like the fish are quite enjoying. Spending some time floating around on the surface, to be honest. You know, got OJ, bless him, he's just coming along here now. Somewhere here, there we go. He's picked up actually a lot since that, since that treatment that I put in for Costia. So they got camera shy. That's not like him, her, it. <laughs> So anyway, so that's done as well, and all the painting's done. Uh, I've got my old bowl that I used to use, you know, the one that cracked. Me, me uh, cheapo bowl. It had a big crack on the side. 
and also I had to repair it when the bottom fell in. <laughs> so I can bin this now. I've got myself a new bowl. So chuffed with that bowl. This is going in bin. Scrap that old bowl. So thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click the like because that affects the algorithm and makes our videos go all over the place. Uh, subscribe, like and share. Uh, waffle, waffle, quip on lifestyle. <laughs>